Hello everyone, my name is Vishakha Sahadev Verma and today we are going to learn about hierarchical clustering. It is an algorithm which is used to divide the similar object into different groups. The end point or you can say the result is basically a set of clusters where every cluster is different from each other and the object within each cluster means that in a cluster, the objects are broadly similar to each other. As you can see here, there are two clusters. The first cluster is having car, bus, truck and bike. And the second cluster is having fruits like apple, mango and banana. These two clusters, they are different from each other in such a way that first cluster is having all the vehicles. And the second cluster is having fruits. The objects in cluster 1 which is car, bus, truck and bike they are similar to each other as they all are the name of the vehicles. And in the second cluster they all are fruits. So these clusters, cluster 1 and cluster 2, they are different from each other. But the objects in a cluster they are similar to each other. Ye ek jaise hai. Jaise cluster 1 mein jitne bhi objects hai, sare ek jaise hai. And cluster 2 mein jitne bhi objects hai, sare ek jaise hai. Hierarchical clustering is a part of unsupervised machine learning algorithm. There are basically three types of machine learning algorithm. The first is supervised learning. Second is unsupervised learning. And the third is reinforcement learning. So hierarchical clustering is a part of unsupervised machine learning algorithm. Here the meaning of unsupervised is, is that the machine is trained on the unlabeled data without any guidance. The unlabeled data ka matlab hi hota hai ki jo data hai wo pieces mein hota hai. Like it could be in the form of audio, it could be in the form of video, it could be in the form of articles, it could be in the form of images. So isse hum bolte hai unlabeled data. So unsupervised machine learning mein jo humari machine hoti hai wo kis pe trained hoti hai? It is trained on the unlabeled data. It actually develops the hierarchy of cluster in the form of tree and that structure is known as dendrogram. In the hierarchical clustering, there are basically two types of approaches. The first is agglomerative and the second is divisive. The agglomerative is basically a bottom-up approach where we do what we do? We take every data point and consider it as a single cluster and we merge it until one cluster doesn't become one until one cluster is left. And in divisive, we do what It is basically a top-down approach which divides a big cluster. And the process involves dividing one big cluster into different clusters. So these two approaches are different from each other. Agglomerative is a bottom-up approach and divisive is our top-down approach. Let's understand about the ways of performing agglomerative hierarchical clustering. There are different steps. In the step 1, it consider each data point as single cluster. So if there are n points, so there will be n clusters. As we can see here, there are 6 points. So how many clusters will be there? There will be 6 clusters. The next step, which is step 2, is take any two closest data points and merge them into the single cluster. Yani ki aapko kya karna hai? Aapko do closest data points ko lena hai. And then we will merge them into the single cluster. Now we will have n minus 1 clusters. Let's understand this point. As we can see here, we have 6 data points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and we have 5 clusters which is n minus 1 so what we did in the previous step mein, which is step 1 we had every point ko ek cluster so how many points are here 1, 2, 3, 4 and which points we have combined and made a cluster so how many clusters are here 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 which is n minus 1 now again we will repeat the process which we have done in step 2. In the step 3 we will take 
two closest data points again and will merge them into the single cluster. So now we will have total n minus two clusters. Let's understand this. As you can see here, we have six data points and we have merged two set of points. This is first and this is second. So now we have total four clusters here. After step three, we will have n minus two clusters, which is four here. We will repeat the step three until we have one cluster. We will have one cluster left. So now we have total three clusters here. This is first cluster having three data points. This is second cluster having two data points and this is our third cluster. We have to repeat this process until we have one cluster left. In step four, we have to repeat the process until we have one cluster left. As I told you earlier, as you can see here, we have combined all data points and now we have one cluster left. Now we have only one cluster, so now we have to make the dendrogram to divide the cluster as per the problem. Now again I am showing you the step 2 because what I am doing here, I am just giving name to all the data points to show you how to make the dendrogram. This is P1, this is P2, P3, P4, P5 and P6. As you can see here, in the first stage, we have combined P1 and P2. So if you want, you can write it here. In the first step, we have combined P1 and P2. In the next step, we have combined P4 and P5. And then we have combined P4, P5. They were already combined. So we have merged it with P6. In the last step, we have combined P1, P2, which were already combined it with P3. So now we have two clusters here and in the end, we have combined these two. If you want, you can write it down somewhere that how we have combined the points and how we have made them into clusters. Now I will show you how to make the dendrogram. I have made the structure here so in the first parse or you can say in the beginning we have combined p1 and p2 after that we have combined p4 and p5 after that we combined p4 and p5 with p6 so that's how we will make the dendrogram after that we have combined p1 and p2 with p3 and in the end, we have combined these two into single cluster. So now the structure is known as dendrogram. So that's all about hierarchical clustering. And in the next video, you can understand this with the help of example. Thank you.